All right. Every year there's hundreds of people that, uh, that drown across the country in uh, snowmobiles and four-wheelers and on foot and, and everything else because they get onto ice when it's not safe. And uh, so today here, uh, Brian and Ivan, they want to uh, know if this Ottawa River is safe to cross in their snowmobile. So we're going to test the ice ahead of time. And uh, rather than cut a hole all the time to check the thickness, I've devised a, a quick test method. First of all, it's this pole here. This is good to tell you if it's enough, safe enough to walk on. If I hit like this and it doesn't go through, then I know I can walk on it. But for a snowmobile, that's not good enough. So I've devised this little cement weight with a six inch spike on the end, 15 centimeters. And uh, so when I punch that down, if I don't get any water coming up, then I know it's good for the snowmobile. So I don't have to keep making holes all the time. So we're going to, uh, and the other river it does have a, a current flowing at this part. There's open water further downstream. There's open water further upstream. So we just want to make sure that it's safe to cross over here uh, from Calumet Village over to uh, the Campbell's Bay. So we're going to uh, to go out and test. Brian's going to go with the pole first of all to check, and then we got the auger. Where every now and then we're going to uh, to dig a hole just to uh, to verify verify how thick it is, so we'll know also if trucks and other vehicles can go on uh, later on. But uh, and then we have this piece of wire which when he does dig a hole we'll just put this down into the bottom and hook it and then we can see how, uh, how thick the ice is. But this tester here will definitely tell us if it's safe for the snowmobile. Uh, yep, still good. Still good. Yeah, no water coming up there. You gotta test it often enough because on a on a current in the river, it can be good in one spot, and then just a few feet later, it's not. So uh, you don't want to go too far without testing. All right, Ivan, how about if you do an, uh, an auger hole here? We'll just check it. I bet you it's 10 inches to a foot. Now uh, my tester went through quite easily and if I waited a bit and if some water came in, I don't know if the video can pick it up, but there's, there's water here and you can see the way it goes in uh, fairly easily. Watch your fingers. Oop, tough there. There. Went right down and then water will come up so it's probably close to uh, 6 inches, 15 centimeters. So how is, deep is your? About six inches. Yeah, that's what I figured. See, that's why this tester is. Yeah. So that's why it's good. It's safe for a snowmobile because yeah. at this, it'd still be good with a snowmobile at this. But uh, that's why. Yeah, no, so it's bon. So I'll post some skidoo, so. Ah, no. Ah, that's bon. I can post it to spell it today, bro. What? Yeah, no. Super. Yeah, just in some parts of it, but uh, So it's all good near the shore, except for one little soft spot over there. Give me your stick here. Right over here. Oh well, somewhere you went through, but there was a bit of uh, air between two ices. I gotta cut. Okay, you can shut that. I'm going to try and get rid of some of this surface snow so it'll freeze better. And if Brian floods it, then uh, it'll, uh, it'll make nicer ice. 
flooding with the sump pump and, uh, and the little one inch pump that was going pretty slow so now uh, Brian is flooding just with the uh, bring it up with the auger it goes a lot faster.